The Lord, Pastor G here from Covenant Kingdom International Ministries, and we just want to be a blessing to you guys, Amen. As we as we continue on this in, this installment on our series, Spirit, the Spirits of Separation, and we as we look at what's going on in our nation right now, Amen. We see divisiveness. We see uh, uh, constructs being put in place that will cause separation among uh, all of the nations and the, and the races and the people. Amen. Democrats against Republicans and independents and black against white and all kind of craziness, all kind of craziness. But we ought to pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's operate in the spirit of unity. Let's operate in the spirit of love. Let's operate in agreement. Amen. Those are the things that shall be at the forefront of our prayers right now. We are one nation under God. One means unity. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I heard something on the radio today on, um, on NPR as I, was, as I was driving home. It says that love is the strut of the faithful and hate is the stumble of the foolish. Hallelujah. Don't you love that? Amen. I, I, I just love when I hear little quotes like that that just speak truth. Amen. So again, it says love is the strut. Yes. Love is the strut of the faithful and hate is the stumble of the foolish. <laughs> Glory to God. I hope you all caught that. Amen. Hallelujah. So, amen. We're continuing on our message. We're going to, after this clip right here, we're going to show you some notes from last time so you can catch up. Amen. Because we don't want to spend a lot of time in review. It's awesome that when we're spending review, you're getting more of the message and God just pulls more out. It's like, like meditation. Amen. Just sucking more juice out of that word. Praise God. Getting more of that word into your spirit. Hallelujah. And making it come alive where, where logos becomes rhema. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So the other thing we want to uh, let you know, that uh, if you want to let people know what our other social media platforms are, at the end of the video, sometimes at the beginning, we show we, we, we put up a slide, amen, we put up a, a caption with all our social media platforms. We, you all know that we're on Facebook, we're also on YouTube, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Instagram, and we are also on Twitter, amen, hallelujah. So, <coughs> excuse me, all those links come up. And go ahead and share them with your friends, your families, your co-workers. Share them, share them. Amen. Hallelujah. And as you're looking at the message, again, share. And I always like to say, check in. Glory to God. Check in the Covenant Kingdom International Ministries YouTube page so people can check out what you're checking into. Glory to God. Also, amen, set up your smiles. Continue to set up your smiles, your likes, your, your applause, your comments, because it's very encouraging to us when we see that. Amen. Glory to God. And we pray that this word is just this word on separation. This whole oh, glory to God is being a blessing to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Whenever, listen at this, whenever we amplify the things that make us different, we only work to separate us, to separate ourselves from one another. I say that again. Whenever we magnify our differences, when we say, well, I'm not the same as you, and you're not the same, and we're not the same, and I'm different from you, and you're different from me, whenever we amplify our differences, we only work to separate ourselves from one another. See, God God loves our differences. God made us different and, and diverse, amen, so, so that we can uh, glorify him in many different ways. Hallelujah. He needs our diversity, praise God, to show his strength. Glory to God. Just think how boring the earth would be if all of us were the same. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, enough of that. But praise God. I, <clears throat> excuse me. I tell you what, just sit back, relax. Amen. Hallelujah. This message is going to bless you. Amen. As the previous ones are. And sometimes, you know, the Lord just, just draws more meat out of the word. Hallelujah. So get the meat out of the word. Amen. Yes, the, the milk of the word is good. Paul says that we have to uh, uh, desire the sincere milk of the word that we may grow thereby. But you have to graduate from milk to bread. And then you got to, when you get some teeth, tooths, teeth, teeth. Uh -huh. yeah, hallelujah. You graduate from bread to meat. Amen. Glory to God. So use those chompers. Use those spiritual chompers as we uh, deliver this word today on the spirit of separation. From Covenant Kingdom International Ministries, this is Pastor Gerald and Pastor Vincia. We love you. God bless you. Enjoy and be blessed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Welcome the Lord. Covenant Amen. Kingdom International Ministries and everybody da everybody uh, tuning in from Africa and St. Croix, Virgin Islands and New York and Virginia and Texas and Aberdeen, uh, Maryland. Hallelujah. And then right here in Georgia as well. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Did we say St. Croix? Yeah. Virgin Islands. Amen. Uh, California, Texas. Amen. That's right. um, with um for Campbell, Kentucky. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So we just want to give God the glory, the honor and the praise as we continue on our series. Amen. The spirit of separation. Glory to God. And we pray that you all been blessed. 
Amen. By um, by what what the Lord has been giving us to give to you. Praise God. And I uh, I pray that you like that introduction. Amen. Glory to God. So right now we're gonna um we're gonna go into prayer and then we're gonna start our study. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We praise you. We honor you. We love you, Father. Yes, yes, Lord. We love you, Father. We worship you in spirit and in truth. Father. Yes, yes, Lord. Because we are the true worshipers, Father, and you seek it such to yes. worship you, Father. Yes, Lord. So we honor you, Father God, with every fiber of our being, Father yes, God. Yes, yes. We honor you with our words, Father God, with our thoughts, Father God, with the things Thank that we look you, Jesus. upon, Father God. Thank you, Father Jesus. Father God, with our behavior, Father God, with the meditations of our hearts. Father yes, God, Lord. we honor you, Father. And Father God, when we fall, we repent yes. in Jesus' yes. name. We get back up, Father, and we run this race with patience in the spirit of the living God. Thank you, Lord. Father, we repent of our sins right yes. now in Jesus' name. Right now, Lord. You said when we repent, Thank when you, we Jesus. repent. There comes a refreshing from the presence yes, of the Lord, yes, Father. Yes, Lord. So, Father, refresh your Thank people you. now right in now, Jesus' Lord. name. Hallelujah. You said right the now, joy Lord. of Thank the you, Lord Jesus. is our strength, Father. Yes, Lord. We you for revival in your house, yes, Father. Yes, you Lord. said your house shall be called a house of prayer, Father. Thank you, Jesus. So we thank you for the greater works, Father. Yes, the Lord. revival, Father, in these end time, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Where we shall, Father God, through the Holy Spirit, do yes. the greater works, Father. Yes, Lord. You shall not return for your people, you. Father, until the greater works, Father, yes, is yes. completed. Thank you, Father, Lord. Father, we thank you and we thank praise you. you, Father, for blessing your people with a ridiculous blessing right Hallelujah. now, Father, Hallelujah. in Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless their children, Father. Yes, Lord. All those that are hearkening to your voice. All yes. those that are obedient, Father. Yes, All Lord. those that are in your secret place. Father, thank you, Jesus. all those that are intimately acquainted with you, Father. Yes, Lord. All those that have a relationship with you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. All those that are looking for the return of Jesus Christ, bless them with a ridiculous blessing, yes. Father. In Hallelujah. Jesus name. Glory to God. Glory Father, to God. Father, it was a ridiculous anointing that was upon David, Father. Yes, Lord. When he slew Goliath, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus uh, David came in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, Lord. Father God, we will not allow any uncircumcised Philistine, Thank Father you, God, Jesus. to defile Glory. us, Father and God, hallelujah. or to bring us down, Father. Yes, Lord. We walk in the authority of Jesus Christ yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, yes, you Lord. said that the kingdom hallelujah. of heaven suffered violence and yes. the violence taken by force, yes, Father. Lord. Yes, we Lord. forcefully take back what the enemy has yes, stolen. Lord from us. Hallelujah. You said is that if the thief be found, Thank he you. shall recompense yes, sevenfold. sevenfold in the we name know of who Christ. is the thief, Father. Yes, Lord. That is Satan, that old slew foot, Father. Yes, Lord. He comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. Yes, Lord. But you said, Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, I Father. come that you might have life and have that life more abundantly, yes, Father. Yes, yes, So Lord. we thank you for the Zoe thank kind you. of life, Father. Yes, That Lord. life, Father God, that breathes your glory, yes. that breathes your anointing, Father. Yes, In the Lord. name of Jesus, yes, anoint Lord. us afresh from the crowns yes, of our heads to the soles of our feet. Yes, Quicken Lord. us with the quickening power thank of you. your word, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We thank praise you. you. We honor you for your yes, presence, Father. Lord, yes, As Lord. Moses said, show us your glory, Father. Yes, Lord. And hide us in the cleft of the rock, which is Jesus Christ. Thank you, we Lord. We love you, Father. We love you, Lord. And we honor you today for what you're doing in our lives. Yes, Lord. We love you, Father. We thank you, we Lord. We love you, Father. We thank Father you, Lord. Father God, it's not only lip service, Father God. Yes, Lord. Father, we don't love you in words or in... in we love you, Father God. Not only in words, Thank you, Father, Lord. but in deeds yes. and in truth, and in Father. Truth. Oh, yes, we Lord. honor you, Father. Oh, yes, we Lord. show our love to you when we love the brethren, Father. Yes, Father Lord. God, hospitality is birthed from love, yes. Father. Yes, so, Lord. Father God, if any man is sick among us, Father Thank God, you, Jesus. if any man is needy, Father, yes, we look Lord. out for them because it's on many of to many as we've done it unto, we have done it unto Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord. Father, you said in your word, if any man love not God, yes, Father, Lord. love not his brethren, Thank he love you, not God in Jesus' name, Father. Thank he is you, a Jesus. liar, and the truth Thank is you. not in Hallelujah. him, Father. We are born of love, Father. Yes, and Lord. we demonstrate that love right now. Yes, because Lord. Because we are made, we are created in yes, the likeness Father. and the image of Hallelujah. God, in the similitude of God. Yes, Lord. So we thank you, praise we you right now, you, Father. Jesus. We honor you. Yes, Lord. Father God. We come against this COVID-19 virus, Father. Yes, Lord. We curse it to the root, Father. In the name we of Jesus. We bind the spirit of death, Father, yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. You have name. given us authority over yes, death, Lord. In yes, the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus has overcome death. Yes. He has overcome sickness, Father. Yes. He has overcome every curse, Father. You Thank said you. cursed is every man that hangeth yes. on a tree, Father. Yes, Lord. So, Father, right now, yes, we Lord. bind every curse, Father God, in the name to of the Jesus. third and fourth generation, yes. Father God, yes, Lord. in our families Hallelujah. right now, Father. We do not operate in the curse, Thank but you, we Jesus. operate in the blessings, Father. Thank you, Lord. You said if any man lack wisdom, let him Thank ask of God, that give it to all men liberally, and yes. upbraid it not, Thank and it Jesus. shall be given him, Father. Yes, but let Lord. him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he yes. that wavereth is like the wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Yes, so, Lord. Father, right now, we come Thank to you, you in faith, Father God. You said without faith, it is impossible, impossible. to please yes. you, Father. Yes, Lord. So, Father God, we stand in your anointing. Yes, Lord. We stand in your spirit. Yes. We stand in your authority, Father. Yes, let Lord. this broadcast go forth, Father, Thank to you, every Jesus. continent. To every nation, yes, Father. Yes. Father God, open the ears, Father Hallelujah. God. Of everyone, Father God, that will look, that will see your presence, Father. Thank you, that Lord. will see your spirit, Father. Thank you, in Lord. this broadcast, Father. Thank you, Lord. And Father, fill them with the Holy Spirit, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Deliver them from every demonic uh, source, Father God. Yes, Lord. Every curse, Father. Yes, Lord. The, the word of God tells us. Jesus rebuked. He cast out the demons yes, with yes. his word, Father. Yes, Lord. And we walk in that same anointing. Yes, Father, Lord. wake up your people to the spiritual yes. realm, Father. Yes, Lord. Father, it is your people, Thank Father, you. that fights the prophet, Father. It is your people that mm. kills the prophet, Lord, Father, that sees in the spiritual realm, Father, uh, and declare to Lord. them. Have mercy, Lord. Your people, Father, that it's said, Father, that they're called by your name. Mm, Lord, have mercy. Wake have them mercy. up, Father. Yes, Lord. Wake them up. Wake Lord. them up. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Take the rebellion out of their hearts. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We, we praise you. you. We, we love you, Father. Your Father. We love and you, Lord. And we thank you for what you're doing in our midst. Yes, Lord. You do the work. Thank you, Lord. You do the work. We thank you. Thank we praise you. you. And we honor you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're gonna let that music play just a little bit yes, softly. We Amen. Worship Hallelujah. You, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, we Father. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you, Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you, Father. Hallelujah. We worship you, Father. We yes, worship yes, you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We worship you in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is worthy to be praised. Amen. amen. God is amen. holy. He's righteous. Amen. He is the only living. He's the living God. He's the King of kings. He's the Lord of lords. Amen. He's the first and the last, amen. the beginning and the end. He who was and who is and who is to come, the amen. Almighty God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Amen. Hallelujah. The beginning and the end and everything in between. Amen. He's our Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. The Lord our provider. Glory to God. He's our Jehovah Shalom. The Lord our peace. He's the Jehovah Rapha. The Lord that healeth thee. Holler his name right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever he need you to be, there's a name for that. Amen. Glory to God. So we're continuing, praise God, on our series, The Spirit of Separation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. And um, uh, we have three uh, foundational scriptures <coughs> that we want to read. Amen. The first one is coming from, uh, from uh, Matthew chapter 12, verse 25. The second one will come from uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse, uh, verses 1 through, through 7. We're going to read 1 through 7. And then the next one is going to be uh, 2, uh, 2 Corinthians 
Oh, Second Corinthians six. Six. Yeah, we don't we don't need that right now. So let's okay. uh, so go ahead read Matthew twelve and uh, twenty five. Amen. Yes, and Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to des desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Amen. Glory to God. And uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 7 says, Know also, this know also, hallelujah, that in the last times, perilous times shall come. And we're living in those perilous times right now, terroristic times. Amen is the translation, the Greek word there. It says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, mm -hmm. without natural affection, truce mm -hmm. breakers, hallelujah, false accusers, uh, incontinent, incontinent, hallelujah, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, hallelujah, mm -hmm. having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. Mm -hmm. What he says, he says, from such turn away or from such separate mm -hmm. yourself, amen, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to the guy said, for this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, with, with, with sins and divers lust, with sins led away with divers lust, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. You have to be able to come when you separate yourself unto God. Hallelujah. Hear me now. When you separate yourself unto God, you are able to come into the knowledge of the yeah. truth. Amen. Yeah. But when you don't separate yourself from these kind of people, all that he mm -hmm. that he listed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Backbiters, gossipers, liars, rebellious people, mm -hmm. sinful people, and people that are living in sin. He says, you will ever be learning, ever learning. I was looking for something new. I was looking for some new revelation, but never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. Mm -hmm. And the reason why that particular phrase is so important because the word tells us the truth that you know. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Not head ascent, but the truth that you know right down here in your heart, praise God. The truth that you know is the truth that, mm -hmm. that, that not only sets you free, that makes you free. Amen. Mm -hmm. Give us, go ahead, um, 2 Corinthians mm -hmm. chapter 6, praise God. He says, Amen. Wherefore, come out from among them and mm. be separate, say the Lord, mm. and touch not the unclean thing again, and mm. I will receive you. Hallelujah. See there? He's the, we understand that there's separ separation. There's two, two aspects of separation. God calls us to be separate. He says, be separate and come out from among them. We are the ecclesia. We are the church of God. We are the called out ones. And we are called out to be separate. We are called out to be representatives of, representatives of the kingdom of God. We are called out to be ambassadors. We are called out to be witnesses. Somebody say amen right there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. You know, the Bible says that our conversation, that word conversation means our way of life, mm -hmm. praise God, mm -hmm. is not of this world, praise God. Amen. We are just journeying through this world, praise God. Amen. Just like Jesus Christ, praise God. He had a limited time on the earth, praise God. Amen. And we are seed of Jesus Christ. We are seeds of God, praise God. Amen. We have a limited time on this earth to live for Amen. God, praise God. Amen to live the life that God has called us to live from his book, praise God, amen, and the book written of all of our life, praise God, amen. So when the scripture says separate yourself and come out from among them, that is just what he's saying. The Bible says if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him, praise God, amen. 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 So we've got to come out from among them, praise God, because we are a new creation in Christ Jesus, amen. Amen. Touch Touch not, handle not, taste not. Nothing concerning the world, praise God, should, should concern us. Amen, praise God. So the two aspects of separation, on one side of separation, it is a discipline, I dare say, amen. I go as far as saying it is a discipline. It's something that we do, amen, hallelujah. And we we go, we went through all those scriptures of all the things that we know that we need to know that we need to separate ourselves from, amen. Galatians chapter 5, I believe, talks about the works of the flesh, hallelujah, and it contrasts those with the That's works right. of the spirit, That's glory right. to God. And in other places of the Bible, it tells us all the things that we are to separate ourselves from. But on, on the other side, amen, where Satan is concerned, where the enemy is concerned, uh, uh, separation is his tool to alienate man from God. Mm -hmm. And we see that in the very in the very beginning, in the book of Genesis, the book of beginnings, mm -hmm. amen. Mm -hmm. We see that where, where, where he, where he uh, caused Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. amen, to, to turn against God's law, mm -hmm. amen. He wanted to mm -hmm. alienate them from God, mm -hmm. amen. He wanted to separate mm -hmm. them from God. See, mm -hmm. God wants us to be knit together with him. God mm -hmm. wants us to be in intimate relationship mm -hmm. with him. 
him. But mm -hmm. everything that Satan does, everything that mm -hmm. Satan throws at us, mm -hmm. it, 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 is, it is to separate mm -hmm. us from God. And mm -hmm. the reason he does it because he is eternally mm -hmm. separated from God. Mm -hmm. He lost his position, amen. Mm -hmm. He he broke he broke protocol, so God mm -hmm. kicked him out of heaven, mm -hmm. and we were and we replaced the worship that he was in charge of. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So so he hates that. He said, no, they can they, What they, man? They, you you built you made that to replace me? Oh, mm -hmm. I ain't having it. So he's gonna throw a fit and a fight. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But we got the Holy Spirit living That's in us. Right. We got all power. The Word That's says Hallelujah right. that He has given us all authority over the power of the enemy. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So we, um, before we we go on, we're gonna we're gonna throw up a um, a slide. Amen. With the um, the review for for the for the spirits of separation that we covered for the last two weeks. Amen. And then we're gonna come right back. Praise God and begin Amen. the lesson. Amen. 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 Watch this, y'all. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. We glad we, we hope that you guys enjoyed that. Amen. And captured those mm -hmm. notes. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And at the end of this, the end of this session, we'll put the, the ones that we covered today. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So you y'all know how your pastor likes acronyms. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I have an acronym for both sides. I have an acronym for God's separation mm -hmm. and I have an acronym for Satan's, the enemy's separation. Amen. Mm -hmm. The spirit of separation. Mm -hmm. So here it is separation. Amen. S E P. S E P A R A T I O N. For from God's perspective, mm -hmm. the essence separation is sanctification. Mm -hmm. We're called to be sanctified. Amen. To be separate. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And then there's endurance. We have to endure mm -hmm. all. We have to endure uh, all trials as a hard soldier, eh? as a good soldier in Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have to endure trials, te testing, and temptations. That's what separates us from everybody else. Because people tend to fall easy. People tend to fall for stuff. Don't don't go the way of the world. Amen. Don't become a product of. You don't have to become a product of your environment unless your environment is the whole holy of holies glory to god mm -hmm. amen and then the p is prayer amen prayer because we are people of prayer it separates us from everybody else mm -hmm. from those that don't pray or don't don't want to pray don't like to pray mm -hmm. don't know how to pray hallelujah mm -hmm. and then a that gives prayer gives us access glory mm -hmm. to god we're separated because we are separated from the world so we can have access unto god mm -hmm. amen and then the r of course is righteousness he, he purchased our righteousness with his blood amen mm -hmm. again and then again the a again oh i had on uh, the same a again access that righteousness the righteousness that he's uh, that he approaches for us gives us uh, us access into the very throne room of god hallelujah mm -hmm. and then t temperate we have to be temperate in all things amen glory to god and then the i is integrity we have to be men and women of integrity if we're going to be separate amen mm -hmm. it's easy to lie Mm -hmm. It's easy to just well. It's, it was just a little white lie. A lie mm -hmm. is a lie. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Hallelujah. A lie is a lie. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And I, I hear some testimonies coming up, but we need to just keep pushing on. Praise God. Mm -hmm. The O, amen, is that and the O and the N, I kind of put those two, sandwich those two together. Mm -hmm. We're up, we're obligated to be non-compromising mm -hmm. according to the scripture, concerning mm -hmm. the scripture. Amen. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. I hope you I hope you'll catch all of that. Amen. Mm -hmm. We may put it up on a slide at the end. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, before our next uh, our next message. Mm -hmm. And now as far as Satan is concerned, separation. S-E-P-A-R-A-T-I-O-N. Amen. The S in separation there, amen, concerning Satan, is just selfishness. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you separate yourself from folk, from your brothers and your sisters, you're, you're being selfish. Amen. Mm -hmm. You remember when we talked about put, throwing a pity party? Mm -hmm. You're being selfish. You want all the attention on you. Mm -hmm. So that's, yeah, that's separation. Amen. Then there's egotism. Uh, you see how that just dovetails, how that just rolls into that one? Because it's all about you. It's all about your ego. You don't want your ego being bruised. Your ego got upset. Why are your ego in the way anyway? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And then there's Pride, oh yes, mm -hmm. pride go before destruction and a hearty spirit before a fall. Mm -hmm. Pride will cause separation. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And then right along, right along, right along, going along with pride, the sister of pride is arrogant, or the brother of pride is arrogant. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, arrogant, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And then of course, hey, hey y'all here, here come the roaches, rebellion. Mm -hmm. Amen. Rebellion will cause you to be separated mm -hmm. from God and folk. Hallelujah. Amen. And then there's and what 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 rebellion does? It alienates you. Amen. See when when God when when Adam and Eve rebelled against God, it alienated them. That was Satan's hallelujah. I love how this is coming together. This is that was Satan's main purpose, amen, to alienate man from God by causing him to rebel. Mm -mm -mm. So check yourself. If you got rebellious streak in your family, you need to check so 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 that you won't be alienated from God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah? And then, then, then the temptation, amen. Hallelujah. Temp the temptation comes to separate you. Temptation comes to separate you from you, from knowing to do knowing to do what is right. The Bible says, mm -hmm. "If a man he that knoweth to do know to do right and doeth not, to him it is sin." Mm -hmm. Amen. And what does sin does? Sin separates us mm -hmm. from God. Amen. And then I is insolent. Amen. No feeling, just cold. Amen. Just, mm -hmm. just, just, just hard. Amen. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no compromise. Just, mm -hmm. just stoic. Amen. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And then the O again, obstinate. Refuse to change. Mm -hmm. Obstinate, stiff neck. That's what obstinate means. Stiff. Don't be like the stiff necked people, mm -hmm. the stiff, <laughs> the stiff neck yes, Israelites. Right. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't be obstinate. Another roach. Amen. Hallelujah. And then the end. We covered it last week. No fear mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. No fear of God. There's no reverence for God. No reverence for the house of God. No reverence for the things of God anymore. We come into the house of God any kind of way. We come into our own house any kind of way, not knowing that this our do our domicile. God should. Uh, God spirit should rest rule and abide mm -hmm. in our homes as well amen mm -hmm. what so why why i say that why why waste your time if god ain't dwelling in your house why waste your time on your doorposts mm -hmm. and, and the lentils why waste your time on anointing your windows mm -hmm. why waste your time amen anointing this the stuff in your home mm -hmm. amen hallelujah mm -hmm. go to your your home is a place of worship amen your home should be a place of of um, of, of, of praise your home should be a place of place of prayer separated mm -hmm. unto god mm -hmm. amen hallelujah Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we, we're moving on with the rest with the rest of our lesson. We might, Again, we won't be finished today. I, I can tell you right now, we won't be finished today. But we're going on with the rest of the spirits of separation. How is the spirit of separation manifested? Amen? Mm -hmm. So the next one, the next tip we want to move on to, the next category we want to move into, praise God, <coughs> is um, perversion of God-intended roles. Mm -hmm. That's how the spirit of separation manifests itself. In the perversion of God intended roles. Go ahead, Pastor V. Go Amen. ahead, read that I'm scripture. Re Amen. Reading, yeah, from Luke 12, starting at the 15th verse, praise God, will end at the 21st. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of the covetousness of a man's life, consisted not in the abundance of the things which he possessed. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, praise God, saying, What shall I do because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all my <clears throat> fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast, uh, hast much goods laid up for many years. 
Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. That means death was coming to him, praise God. Then whose are those things which be, which thou hast provided, praise God. So is he that laid up treasures for himself and is not rich towards God. Amen. So you see, that's that's talking about men giving leadership to mammon versus versus God. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Let me read something from Romans chapter one, starting at the uh, the twenty first verse. Listen, listen at this. He says, because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God. So they knew these these folk know they knew God. Mm -hmm. They were. Can I say they were saved? <laughs> no, 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 no. If they knew God, well, if they knew God, they chose no, no, no. not to operate. It's, but he says, yeah. he said, but they that knew God, they had mm -hmm. a knowledge of God, mm -hmm. but, they, but they glorified Him not as God. Mm -hmm. Neither were they thankful. Oh Jesus, mm -hmm. we got a whole, we got a whole generation of folk that's not thankful. Mm -hmm. hey, amen. Hallelujah. We're not thankful, but became vain in their imaginations. What the word say about imagination? That we mm -hmm. must cast down imaginations. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're gonna get to that scripture soon. Mm -hmm. uh, that they were vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened mm -hmm. professing themselves to be wise they became fools mm -hmm. lord have mercy there go that word fool again mm -hmm. he said because because of what they did because of what verse 21 says he said they professed themselves mm -hmm. to be wise the word of god says that they became fools mm -hmm. lord have mercy mm -hmm. <laughs> oh lord jesus he says um Verse 20, verse 23, and change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like unto corruptible man mm -hmm. and to birds and, and four-footed beasts mm -hmm. and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness. See, you can get to a point where God gives you up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can get to a point where God just straight up mm -hmm. gives you up. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. God mm -hmm. gave them up to uncleanness. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. He says, through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. We know they're talking about homosexuality. Mm -hmm. So it's plain what, what the Lord thinks about homosexuality. Mm -hmm. If it was sin then, it's sin today, it will be sin tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He says, verse 25, Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator, mm -hmm. who is blessed forever. Amen. Verse 26, for this cause, God gave them up to vile affections. Mm -hmm. Amen. For even their woman did not change. The woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Mm -hmm. And likewise also the man, mm -hmm. leaving the natural use, the natural use of a woman. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Do we need to go into detail? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, y'all. The natural use of a woman burning their heart, burn in their lust towards one another, mm -hmm. men with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meet. So that's amen. Um, perversion of God intended roles. Amen. Hallelujah. And the, the LGBTQ community spits in the face of that scripture that's that right. we just read. Amen. Right. God made man mm -hmm. for ma for woman and he made woman mm -hmm. for man. He mm -hmm. made Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. not Adam and Steve. Amen. Mm -hmm. Not Anna and Eve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Pastor Vincent, yeah, you got anything? I, I remember, <coughs> praise God, amen, when you were uh, correcting someone, praise God, who they were a Christian, but their lives were not really aligned, praise God, mm -hmm. with the word of God, mm -hmm. amen. And they left their husband and went to be with another woman, praise God. Oh, and yeah. I remember when you were... Um, you weren't really chastising them, but mm -hmm. you were speaking to them in love, mm -hmm. trying to draw them back, mm -hmm. letting them know, know that they were in sin, praise mm -hmm. God. Yeah. And yeah. they raged. They came against you so forcefully mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and had this spirit of delusion. I'm still going to heaven. God knows my heart. <laughs> the spirit of delusion is strong in the yes. earth today. And oh, many yes. so-called mm -hmm. Christians have given themselves over to that spirit. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, back in February, praise God, early March, when Pastor Evans went on his last TDY, praise God, amen, and I was preaching. There was so many things, so many thoughts I were discerning, so many things I was hearing, but then I saw the spirit of death, and everyone in the house succumbed to that spirit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Saints mm -hmm. of God, what God mm -hmm. was showing me, no one knew the spirit was there. Just like when the angels come in, no one knows that they're there, praise God. Saints, listen, humble yourself to the Spirit of God. Humble yourself, praise God, amen, to the... um. 
to the five-fold ministry, praise God, amen, to the seers, and you don't have to be um, in the five-fold ministry to be a, a seer, praise God, amen, but when someone can see, praise God, don't come against them, praise God, amen, don't bash them, praise God, amen, thank God that they're in your midst to warn you, amen, praise God, so the, the, the cure or the opposite spirit for the perversion intended God roles is submission, Submit yourselves, therefore, unto God, and in due time, he will raise you up. He will lift you up. Amen. Let me read from Luke chapter 12, verses 22 to 34. Luke chapter 12, verses 22 to 34. He says, hallelujah. Uh, Luke 12, 22 to, 30, 22 to 34. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. <sighs> and he said unto his disciples, therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, for that what you shall eat, neither, neither for the body what you shall put on. For the life is more the life is more than meat and the body more than raiment. Consider the ravens for the field of the field, neither do they sow nor reap, which neither uh, which neither have storehouses nor barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And to which of you, which of you of taking thought can add a stature to your cubit? You can't change that. You can't change your height. Amen. He says the very hairs of your head are numbered. You can't change that either. I mean, you can put some weave in, but the numbers are still there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. He said, uh, uh, verse 26, if, uh, if you're not able to do that thing, which is least, why take ye thought of the rest? Amen. If you can't even do this, why worry about the rest? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Consider the lilies of the field, how they sow and they how they grow and they toil not. They spin not. Yet and yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Then uh, if then God so clothed the grass which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And seek not, not and seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither ye be doubtful of mine. For all these things do the, do, the, do the nations of the world seek after, and your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye first, seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. That also comes out of uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Glory to God. Verse 34, fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. See, God wants to give you the kingdom. Amen. We don't have to fight for the kingdom. We don't have to struggle for the kingdom. Amen. He, he wants to give us the kingdom. It is your father's pleasure. It is his delight to give us the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, sell what you have and, and give alms. Provide, your, uh, provide yourselves bags and wax, uh, which wax not old. Uh, a treasure in heaven, a treasure in heaven. Hallelujah. That faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth doth corrupt. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So put, uh, put your heart in God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Put your heart in the kingdom of God. Put your heart towards heaven. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because he says, where your, where your treasure is, where your heart is, there will your treasure be also. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The next one, we, um, when the, the next one under the perversion of, uh, of, of, of God intended roles is when women take control in the home. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When women take control in the home, go ahead, Pastor Vincent, get Amen. me First Kings 21, 1 through 16. Amen. It reads as Ooh. follows. And it came to pass after these things that Naboth the Jezreelite had a vineyard which was in Jezreel, mm -hmm. heard by, um, hard by the palace of Ahab king of Samaria. And Ahab spake unto Naboth, saying, Give me thy vineyard, that I may have it for the garden of herbs, mm -hmm. because it is near unto my house, and I will give thee for it a better vineyard than it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or if it seems good to thee, I will give thee the worth of it in money. Mm -hmm. And Naboth mm -hmm. said unto Ahab, The Lord forbid it, forbid it, forbid me, forbid it of me that I should give thee the inheritance of my father. Mm, mm, and, Ab and Ahab came into his house heavy displeased because of the word which Naboth the Jezreel had spoken unto him. For he had said, I will not give thee the inheritance of my fathers. And he laid him down upon his bed and turned away his face and would not eat bread. And Jezebel, his wife, came to him and said to him, 
Why is thy spirit so sad that thou eatest no bread? Mm -hmm. And he said unto her, Because I spake unto Nabal the Jezreel, and he said unto him, Give me thy vineyard for money, or else if it please thee, I will give thee another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give, it, give thee my vineyard. And Jezebel his wife said unto him, Dost thou now govern the kingdom of Israel? Arise and eat bread and let thine heart be merry. I will give thee the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreel. Mm, 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 so she wrote letters to Ahab's in Ahab's name and sealed them with his seal and sent the letters unto the elders and to the nobles that were in his city dwelling with Naboth. And she wrote the letter saying, Proclaim a fast and set Naboth on high among the people. And set two men, son of Belial before them, son of Belial, sons of the devil, mm -hmm. praise God, yeah, yeah, to bear yeah, yeah. witness against him saying, <clears throat> Thou didst blaspheme God and the king, and then carry him out and stone him, and he may die. Mm -hmm. And the men of the city, even the elders and the nobles <laughs> who were inhabitants wow, of the cities, wow. did as Jezebel sent unto them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as mm -hmm. it was written in the letters which she had sent unto them, they proclaim a fast, praise God, fasting to their God, the devil. Oh, Jesus. And neighbored on high among the people, and there came in two men, children of Belial, and sat before him. And the men of Belial witnessed against him, even against mm -hmm. Nabal mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. presence mm -hmm. of the people. So you see, Pastor, praise God. Mm -hmm. Everyone, praise God. Let me say this, say it this way, praise God. Amen. Those that are in the fivefold ministry, those that God put in leadership, praise God, the enemy does not like. Yeah, he will cause people that comes out of his church, yeah, yeah, praise God, that yeah, prays to him yeah. to do their fast. Yeah, amen. To yeah. commit sin against God's house. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. So even against Naboth in the presence of the people saying, Naboth did blaspheme God and the kingdom. See how they twist the truth? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Then they carried him forth out of the city and stoned him with the stones that he and, and he died. Then they sent to Jezebel saying, Naboth is stoned and is dead. And it came to pass when Jezebel heard that Naboth was stoned, he was dead. Jezebel said to Ahab, Arise, take possession of thy vineyard, the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreel, which he refused to give thee for money. For Naboth is not alive, but dead. It came to pass when Abel, yeah, Ahab heard that Naboth was dead, that Ahab arose up to go down to the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreel to take possession of it. So we see clearly there, it wasn't the king running the country. It was, it was Jezebel. It was his wife running the country. And so God, God speaks against that. Amen. Role reversal or, or a, a perversion of God intended roles. Amen. It was the man that was made first and then the woman and the woman was made for the man. Amen. Hallelujah. We see that in Genesis. But the covering again for that, amen. The, the opposite spirit for that is submission. Amen. And let's, let's, let's go to um, Ephesians chapter 5. Verses, um, verses 22 to, I'm going to start at 21, verses 21 to 24. And God, through the Apostle Paul, gives clear instruction, glory to God, to the Ephesian church of how this relationship, should, how this relationship ought to work. He says, sub, verse 21, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of the Lord. Amen. So first of, first of all, and say first of all. First of all. First of all, there's a submitting one to another. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And then he says, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. So this, this just brings another scripture back uh, uh, unto our remembrance. Whatever you do, do all heartedly as unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. So you're submitting yourself to your husband as unto the Lord. The mm -hmm. reason why submission gets a bad rap because it's been taught wrong. It's been taught, th th and I'm going to use an example. It's been taught that a wife should submit to her husband in the way that he puts his hand around his neck. You gonna submit? You gonna submit? You know that's why. Or you gonna be under my foot? You behind my back? You know that's why submission gets a bad rap because it's been used as an excuse uh, uh, from the pulpit to, uh, to, to as a license to abuse. Oh God, holla, help us here, Lord, Hallelujah! But we know when we when you read the scripture. When the, when the plain steps of scripture makes sense, seek mm -hmm. no other sense. Otherwise, you're going to end up in nonsense. Mm -hmm. When you misalign scripture, 
treasure, you end up in error. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Let me keep reading. For the husband is head of the wife. The husband is head of the wife. Hallelujah. Even as Christ is head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let wives be unto their own husbands in everything. Mm-hmm. 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 Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Husbands, love your wives. Mm-hmm. As even so Christ loved the church and gave himself for it, that he mm-hmm. might sanctify it and cleanse it mm-hmm. with the washing of water by the word. Mm-hmm. Let me keep reading. That he might present to himself a glorious church. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. See, when you submit yourself to your master, mm-hmm. when we submit ourselves to the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. he makes us a glorious church. Mm-hmm. So when, let me, let me, let me, let me flip that on the natural side. Wives, when you submit yourself unto your husband, mm-hmm. you, you become a glorious church. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. Mm-hmm. Amen. So, so we, we moving on. Amen. But let me say. Go ahead, Pierce, yeah, Pastor V. Because <laughs> the man have to be submitted to God. Praise God. That's right. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. You know, Corinthians do tell mm-hmm. us all. Oh, woman how do you know that you won't save your husband oh man how do you know mm-hmm. but praise god amen mm-hmm. if that alignment with christ jesus is not there from the man praise god the source the house is going to be out of whack praise god lest the woman that is safe praise god amen, amen, amen. brings the anointing in the house praise amen. god amen. amen amen saints of god the man has to be submitted to jesus christ in order for the woman to submit to him praise god amen if the man is not in alignment with God, if he's not one with God, praise God, amen, the woman will not be met one with that man, praise God. Your house will always be in chaos and confusion. Let, let, me, let, let, me, let me say this. There, there's, there's a level of grace. Once, if the woman is saved and the husband is not, there's a there's a level of grace that comes That's right. with that house. Amen. That's right. Um, she is to still submit to her husband. Yeah. Amen. Not not putting not putting the church before her husband. He mm-hmm. he should be mm-hmm. he should be um uh, what's the word I want to use? Reasonable enough to understand mm-hmm. that she serves God, mm-hmm. but when it when he's a hard taskmaster, mm-hmm. I mean then, then then prayer needs to come in, mm-hmm. some deliverance needs to come in, some mm-hmm. counseling needs to come in. Mm-hmm. So there's a whole realm of stuff mm-hmm. that we that we can get into, especially mm-hmm. when it comes to the husband and wife relationship mm-hmm. and and the, the relationship of the whichever one is saved, mm-hmm. Amen, and how that how how that mm-hmm. affects. Um, their relationship in the home. Amen. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. So mm-hmm. we're not going to get into a counseling session, but mm-hmm. praise God. You all can't get the gist of it. And we always, always bring it back. Whatever situation you find yourself in, husbands and wives, amen. If the wife is saved and the husband is not, or if the husband is saved and the wife is not, go into the, go come back to the word. Because mm-hmm. the Bible tells us that the, the conversation of the, of the saved one, the, 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 the salvation mm-hmm. of the saved one is won by the conversation of the sa- saved one. Let me say that one more time. The, 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 the salvation of the unsaved one is won by the conversation of the one who is saved. Amen. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, and when I say conversation, I mean the lifestyle. The lifestyle. The lifestyle. Amen. The lifestyle. And, and yes, it, it, you, if you want to get real basic, the way you speak. Amen. You, mm-hmm. can't, you can't be running the church. Amen. As soon as the church doors open, and you come home and you a hellion. Amen. And you cussing and you cussing and fussing and kicking and screaming and and you know you a dog a cold dead fish. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Lord have mercy. Amen. We both still have to do our husband and wifely duties. Amen. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. One does not negate the other. Glory to God. Okay. Okay. I see ourselves getting into marriage. Amen. The next one. Amen. The next thing that caused uh, separation is the spirit of confusion. Hallelujah. What was the Bible said? Where there's envy and jealousy, See, there's, there's strife, con- confusion, there's confusion, and, and every, every evil, evil work. work. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's in James. So confusion, uh, uh, amen, is is disorder. Praise God. Disorder. Pastor Vincent, go ahead and give us that first scripture. Amen. So it comes from James 3, 13 through 18. Praise God. And it reads as follows. Who is that wise man and endure with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works of meekness of his works with meekness of wisdom but if ye be bitter envying and strife have bitter envying and strife in your heart glory not and lie not against the truth this wisdom descended not from above but is earthly sensual devilish for where there is envy and strife there is confusion and every evil work but the wisdom that is from above is first first pure Peaceable, gentle, easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruit. Without partiality, without hypocrisy, the fruit of righteousness is so 
alone in the peace of men that make peace. Hallelujah. Did y'all catch all that? Praise God. Hallelujah. And the, the cure or the, the opposite spirit of confusion is godly wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Godly wisdom. Doesn't the word says a word to do everything in decency and in order? Amen. For God is not the author of confusion. Hallelujah. So let's go to um, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5. It says, uh, well, let me start at verse 3. Hallelujah. It says, For though we walk not in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds, the way people think. A stronghold is the way people think. The way people think. Casting down what? Imaginations. You got to cast them down. And how do you cast down an imagination? With a word. Amen. You, you can't say you're going to imagine something over another imagination. No, you got to use a word to cast down an imagination. Hallelujah. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought. So you got to bring every thought captive under the word of God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. to, to the obedience of Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll stop right there. And the other scripture, amen, for that is uh, James chapter 3, verses 17 to 18. Yeah, we just read that one. Oh, you just read James 3, 17 through 18? Yeah. Okay, we'll pray, <laughs> praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. We just, okay, we, so we're going to move on. The next one, the next spirit that met that, uh, that the next spirit of separation that, 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 that manifests uh, is, uh, is apathy. Mm -hmm. Apathy is not caring. Amen. Not feeling. Hallelujah. Deadness. Just, just dead. Uh, aloof. Hallelujah. Standoffish. Amen. Loveless. Cold love. Does not the word of God said the love of man wax cold? The love of man what is waxing colder and colder and colder. We see that. Look, look at your news for just for 10 minutes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. For the love of man is waxing colder and colder <laughs> and colder. But thank God for the love of God that mm -hmm. abounds to his glory. Go ahead, Pastor. Amen. Amen. As Hallelujah. a matter of fact, that's the scripture I was going to read. Amen. 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 Matthew 24, 12. And it says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax mm -hmm. cold because <laughs> sin shall abound. What are we seeing? Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because sin is abounding. The love of man is waxing cold. Praise God. That's Remember, right. Right. the world does not know love. Praise God. So who is the scriptures talking about? Praise God. Remember, the apostles has mm -hmm. begun, praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. People are leaving the church in droves, and even if they're not leaving the church, praise God. Amen. They are becoming religious, praise God, but not having, praise God, an intimacy or relationship with God. Amen. You know, sin breeds sin, and iniquity breeds iniquity. That's why there's such a, it seems like there's such an advance of why there's such an advance of wickedness in the earth, because iniquity and sin and transgression, it opens the door. It opens the door for those demons to come in. That's what attract that, that. They see more wickedness. They say, oh, let's go there and let's amplify that. Amen. But the, the more we praise God and the more we worship God and the more we are open with the things of God, we we, we, we basically we open the portal or the door for angels to come in and do That's their right. work. Amen. That's Hallelujah. Right. It seems like there's more than them than more than us. But trust God, we outnumber, we outnumber them in angels alone, two to one. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So glory to God. It may look like what it looks like right now, but it ain't going to always be that way. Amen. Mm -hmm. It ain't going to always stay like this. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory days are coming. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory days are on. Jesus mm -hmm. says the kingdom of God is at hand. Amen. Mm -hmm. Which means it is within reach. Glory mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. the, um, so the, the scripture, the cure for that, of course, the, the cure for apathy is love. Amen. Mm -hmm. And Pastor Fritz is teaching on Thursday nights. Amen. Walking mm -hmm. or living in the agape love of God. Mm -hmm. And I like the scripture from John 13 and 35. It says, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples for the love, the agape, hallelujah, the unconditional love, the sacrificial love that you have one for another. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's the love that never fails. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's move on to the next one. Hallelujah. Oh, this one, this one, this one is, 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 is good. I, li I like this one. Amen. Not that I like it, but it, it, it grabs my attention because I see it's a, it's a, 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 a fault of a lot of, 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 of saints. Amen. Ignorance. Ignorant. Amen. And I, I don't mean to come down hard on it, but it, there's, there's, a, there's a level of seriousness that we got to get to when we talk about being ignorant, about ignorance. Amen. Some of us, I mean, and all of us have operated in ignorance. Amen. But when you, when you learn better, you should do better. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you know better, you mm -hmm. ought to do, we ought to do better. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So ignorance, amen, is it, it, uh, go. So some of the things that we're going to talk about, it uh, goes along with the hardening of the heart, amen, and it causes bitterness. Mm -hmm. and, you know, when mm -hmm. you're ignorant, you're just going on. You're just going along with, with, with like, like Pharaoh. Pharaoh was ignorant, amen. amen. Go, go along with the hardness. He said, "I feel this way. This is the way mm -hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm mad. I'm upset. So I'm gonna stay mad." Mm -hmm. I'm a pout. I'm a stay angry. Mm -hmm. Instead of just releasing that thing and, and letting letting the Holy Spirit work on you, Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't don't that that's Hallelujah. Jesus, help me here. Hallelujah. That is a display of ignorance mm -hmm. when you stay in your attitude, mm -hmm. when you know better, Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. When you stay in your locked in yourself, mm -hmm. when you ought to when you ought to know better, Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, the flesh the flesh uh, the, the flesh is gratified mm -hmm. when we give ourselves to these things, Amen. Mm -hmm. But we are not to live in the flesh. We are, if we live in the flesh, we shall put to deed to death the deeds of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So go ahead, Pastor. We read, read um, 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 so ignorance causes bitterness. Amen. You got Psalm 73? I got Ephesians 4. Okay, so that's going, amen. That's going along with the hardening of the heart. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, mm -hmm. so it reads as follows. Praise God. Ephesians 4, starting at the uh, 17th verse. This I said, therefore, and testifying the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of your mind, having and the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over to lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. But we have not so learned Christ. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as he is in Jesus Christ, praise because that you put off concerning the former conversation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, the, the old former man, life. Yep, yep. the old man, which mm -hmm. is corrupt according to the deceitfulness and be renewed in the spirit of your mind that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness, truth and holiness. Amen. Hallelujah. And then the next one, and we, we're going to get to the opposite spirit in a minute, but the, the next one, praise God, is that it, ignorance causes bitterness. Ignorance causes bitterness. Amen. Psalm 73, verse 21, uh, 21 to 20, 23, uh, I believe it is. Yes, here it is. Uh, Thus my heart was grieved, or bitter, <laughs> Lord have mercy, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I and ignorant... I was as a beast before thee. Oh, Lord, have mercy. But, but here's hope. Amen. Look, look at verse 23. Nevertheless, I am continually with the Lord. Thou hast, behold, thou hast holden me by, his, by, by, by thy right hand. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel and afterward receive me to glory. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So there is restoration. There is restitution. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Amen. amen. The amen. next one. Amen. Ignorance, it can be overlooked for a season, but a person has to repent. Mm -hmm. Ignorance can be overlooked. Okay, yeah, they didn't know. But after a while... You gotta repent. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You you got uh you got Acts. I have Acts three seventeen Amen. through twenty one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Through twenty. And now, brethren, I want that through ignorance you did it, as did also your rulers. But those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all His prophet that Christ should suffer, He had so fulfilled. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Praise God. Oh, listen to this. Praise God. <laughs> That's another thing that we can preach on on the end times. Yeah. Amen. Our sins, sins being blotted, blotted out. out. Praise Amen. God. Amen. 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 Our <laughs> names can be written in the Lamb's book of life, but because of our behavior, praise God, God can blot it right out. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Praise God. Amen. And he shall send... Uh, Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom um, whom the heavens must receive until the times of restitution to all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Amen. Hallelujah. And then uh, align, align, in align with that, praise God. Let's go to, uh, still, still in, um, in Acts chapter 17. Let me pick it up at verse 29. He says, For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone or graven by art and man's device. And in and the times of this and and the times 
of this ignorance God went at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Lord have mercy. See, so God went at their ignorance. He said, you know what? I'm going to let that pass. Amen. But after a while, amen, you continue to operate in ignorance. You got, you got to come to a point where you repent. Lord, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I didn't know any better. Mm -hmm. Lord, forgive me of my ignorance. Mm -hmm. Now I know better. Lord, help me mm -hmm. to do better. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, uh, Pastor Evans, um, there, you know, this, the scripture says, amen, this is a hard saying, praise God, who mm -hmm. can hear it, praise God. And when Jesus was talking to the Jews about partaking of his body and his blood, praise God, mm -hmm. amen, mm -hmm. many of his disciples left. And we're not yeah. talking about the 12, amen. Right, right, right. We're right. talking about those in the 120, praise God, amen. Mm -hmm. Some of those that left Christ, praise God, they didn't mm -hmm. want to hear because they thought he was loony at that time, praise uh -huh, God, amen. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So they left his teaching, praise God. Amen. And what am I saying? Praise God. Amen. As we bring forth the word of God, saints of God, judge yourself. Allow the word of God to judge you. Praise God. Amen. Even if it doesn't feel good to you, still send up your heart. Still send up your love. Praise God. Amen. Don't separate yourself. Praise God from the things of God and still call yourself loving God. Praise God. Amen. The very word, praise God, that we reject is the word, praise God, that's going to judge us. Amen. So whether we think the word of God is powerful or not, whether we think the word of God is good or not, praise God, it still stands. God's word will not return to him void, praise God. Hallelujah. And then one more thing, one more thing about ignorance, amen. It cuts off the work of the Holy Spirit. Ignorance cuts off the work of the Holy Spirit. So let's go to Revelation chapter ch Revelation chapter two, and I'm gonna read several verses, Amen. And see if you catch see if you catch this thread that's rolling through Revelation. Revelation chapter two, starting at the seventh verse. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, I will give to eat the tree of the tree of life, which is in the midst of paradise. Verse eleven. He that had an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit said to the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt in the second death. Hallelujah. Verse 16. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. Verse 17. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the church. To him that overcometh, I will give to eat of the hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone, and in, in the stone a new name, written which no man knoweth, save it he that receiveth it. Amen. Verse uh, verse 29. He that had an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit say unto the churches. Hallelujah. Do we have more? Amen. Verse uh, Revelation chapter 3, verses 5, 5 and 6. Here it is. He that overcometh. The same shall be clothed with white in white raiment, and I will bl I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. See that goes right back to what Pastor Vincent just said. Your name your name can be written. Your name that we start off we start off with our names written in the Lamb's book of life, but because of transgressions or sin or having an unrepentant heart, our names get blotted out. But we don't want our names blotted out. We want our sins blotted out. Say Amen right there, somebody. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He says, he says, uh, I will not blot his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before the angels. He that had an ear to hear, let him hear what the spirit saying to the churches. Amen. So have an ear to hear. Amen. Overcome your temptations. Overcome your trials. Overcome your tests. Overcome your challenges. Overcome your situations. Overcome, hallelujah, your circumstances. Mm -hmm. Overcome. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Overcome. We have mm -hmm. overcome. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Peter was talking about, because we didn't explain this praise God amen Peter was telling them in the book of Acts chapter 3 praise God to repent that their names may be that their sins may be blotted out that God may forgive their sins praise God and their names written mm -hmm. in the Lamb's book of life praise God mm -hmm. hallelujah and the cure for that the opposite spirit we didn't cover that the opposite spirit for ignorance amen is mercy and true righteousness mercy and true righteousness and I'm going to read from uh, Hebrews chapter 5 verse 2 Hebrews chapter 5, verse 2. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I love this. Who can have compassion in the ignorant? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way? For that he himself also is compassed with infirmity. And by reason hereof, he ought as for the people, as for himself, uh, to offer for sins. Talking about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. 
and no man taketh his honor unto himself, but he that is called of God was Aaron. Hallelujah. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made a high priest, but he but he that said unto them, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. And the comparison is made to Aaron because Aaron was one of the Aaron was the first of the of the Levite the, of the Levite priests, amen, that went in on, into the temple on behalf of the people once a year to make an offering for sin. But now we have a better than Adam, and we have a better than Aaron. We have Jesus. Amen. I, can you say Jesus? Jesus? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Two more, and we're gonna close it down for the night, for the evening. Amen. The next one is busyness. I have that scripture. Busyness, mm -hmm. amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Just running about. You're saying you're doing a work for God. Or you're working for God, but you're really busy. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Go ahead, Pastor Amen. V. And I like, praise God. Amen. Uh, Mary was not like Martha when Martha ah, was so busy. Excellent. But excellent. Mary chose to sit at the feet yes. of Jesus. Yep. Praise yep. God. Amen. Yep. 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 But yep. Isaiah 40, 31 says, but they that wait upon the mm -hmm. Lord shall not renew, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Mm -hmm. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. And that's the opposite spirit of business, waiting on the Lord. And we understand waiting is not just sitting around well i'm just wait i'm just what are you doing i'm waiting on the lord the bible says to occupy Occup God so so that that, that term right. wait man, means to serve to amen serve. i am waiting I, like a waiter i am waiting on the lord i am serving the lord hallelujah right. glory to god That's glory right. to god that was a short one and then the last one for tonight amen glory to god the last thing the last uh, spirit that manifests uh, and in the spirit of separate the last thing that manifests through the spirit of separation is lust yeah. Oh yeah. I have that scripture. Lust is covering. Lo uh, love. I'm sorry. Lust is coveting. Amen. Hallelujah. One of them roaches. Say one of them. Stomp that roach. Amen. Amen. Stomp that roach. Hallelujah. It draws away from unity or union. Amen. Amen. Lust draws away from unity. Amen. Lust will pull you away from the thing that you ought to be doing. Praise mm -hmm. God. Go ahead, Pastor Vincio. Amen. What you got? So Ephesians two, two and three. Mm -hmm. Wherein in time past. You walk according to the course of this world, according mm. to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also ye had, amongst whom also we all had our conversation in time past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others." Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so um, the, the, uh, the opposite spirit of lust, praise God, is holiness. The opposite spirit of lust is holiness. And we want to go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 3 through 8. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 3 through 8. He says, for this, for this is the will of God. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain, even your sanctification, even your, your separation. Y'all got that? Hallelujah. That ye should abstain or separate, amen, from fornication. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification or separation in honor. Not in, not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles which know not God. That no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have forewarned you and testified. Amen. Glory to God. So we see there, living in holiness, praise God, is required. Amen. The, but the, the, the Bible says, without holiness, no man, mm -hmm. no man, mm -hmm. no man mm -hmm. or woman mm -hmm. shall see God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So that's it, praise God. That's Amen. it for tonight. Praise Amen. God. We're going to end it praise right there God. for tonight. Praise we God. pray that you all were blessed, were blessed tonight, praise God. Amen. We just want to thank God for each and every one of you tuning into our broadcast. And we Amen. pray that these lessons, praise God. We pray that these lessons on um, the separation, amen, the spirit of separation, amen. amen, are a blessing to each and every one of you. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So if there's someone here tonight, praise God, that needs to be saved, we say today is the day of salvation. Don't put it off for another day. Don't put it off for another minute. Don't put it off for another second. Amen. Amen. Let me just say a quick prayer, and then Pastor Vinta is going to lead us in a prayer of salvation. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those that have been listening to this broadcast or any of our other broadcasts, and you've brought them to a point of decision, Lord. 
We want to thank you right now in the name of Jesus that their hearts are pliable and that their ears are open to receive you in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, we, we're going to lead them in a prayer of salvation. And we thank you, Lord, in accordance with your word. You are not a man that you shall lie, nor the son of man that you shall repent. If you said it, you will make it good. And if you spoke it, you will bring it to pass. And that you will accept them and receive them unto yourself in the name of Jesus. If that's you today and you want to get ready, you want to get ready to meet our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you want to come into the family of God, say these words after us. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I come to you in the name of Jesus. Your word says, Your word says, Him that cometh to me, Him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. I will in no wise cast out. So I know you won't cast me out. So I know you won't cast me out. But you'll take me in. But you take me in. And I thank you for it. And I thank you for it. You said in your word, You said in your word, If thou wilt confess with thy mouth, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth, The Lord Jesus, The Lord Jesus, And shalt believe in thine heart, And shalt believe in in thy heart that God raised him from the dead that God raised him from the dead thou shall be saved thou shalt be saved for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord for whosoever shall call upon the name of the shall Lord be saved. shall be saved I believe in my heart I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is the son of God that Jesus Christ is the son of God I believe he was raised from the dead I believe he was raised from the dead for my justification for my justification I'm calling upon his name I am calling upon his name the name of Jesus the name of Jesus so I know father so I know father that you have saved me now that you have saved me now your word says your word says with the heart men believe it unto righteousness with the heart men believe it unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation I do believe with my heart I do believe with my heart and confess with my mouth the and Lord confess Jesus confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ therefore I am saved therefore I am saved I thank you father I thank you father and I I praise you and I praise you in Jesus name in Jesus name amen 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 hallelujah y'all rejoice the word of God says that the angels of heaven rejoice for one sinner and repent for the 99 that don't need any repentance amen hallelujah and now that you have become a born again child of God now that you have become a disciple you need to be discipled amen hallelujah so we want to encourage you to find a church find a fellowship find a house of prayer find a house of worship find a faith institution glory to god that's teaching the indestructible indispensable irrefutable incomprehensible word of god hallelujah <laughs> glory to god amen you need to be taught the word of god you need to be taught the precepts of god amen find you a, a place that's that that where you can learn and where you can grow that's teaching the uncompromising word of the gospel of jesus christ amen that 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 that, that will teach you the truth to stay on the straight and narrow path and not go over there on the wide path that really leads unto destruction. You want to be, you want to stay on a narrow path that leads unto life everlasting. Amen. So we want to just give God all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Amen. Stay tuned. Amen. For the, the final announcements. Amen. And the, uh, and the notes. Amen. As it were, yes. praise God. Hallelujah. I know some of you have been asking about, well, what are the other social media platforms that we have? Hang out. Stay tuned. And you'll see that at the end as well. Amen. Glory to God. So from Covenant Kingdom International Ministries on this Sunday morning, we pray that you guys were blessed, that you guys are blessed and that you received this message. Amen. And that it enlightened your heart. Amen. And it, it gave you some wisdom. Amen. And it pricked your heart and caused you to cause the Holy Spirit to bring some conviction on certain things. Amen. But conviction comes so that we can confess to God. Amen. And be right with the Lord. So amen again from Covenant Kingdom International Ministries. Me and Pastor B, we wish you all well. Have a, have a blessed Sunday and may the rest of your week be a prosperous week. Amen. Don't forget to send your offering in. Amen. We continue to bless you for the, the sowing of your seed. Amen. Hallelujah. And then again, don't forget to take communion after, um, af after this um, service is over. Amen. So we just want to give God all the glory, the honor, and the praise. And again, we thank you for tuning in, taking the time out of your busy Sunday. Under your, and you could have gone to any other station, any other broadcast, but you chose to sit with us. And we do really love and appreciate each one, each and every one of you. Amen. We have you in our minds, and we have you in our prayers and in our hearts. Amen. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And I continue to lift this election coming up. Amen. Yeah. Continue to pray for our, our government, our election system. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God that 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 we that people would do right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. We're gonna tune out now. God bless you. We just want to let you know that we love each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we will see you on on Thursday night when Pastor Vincent mm -hmm. will continue with her lesson, living in the agape love, living life in the agape love of God. Mm -hmm. God bless you. We love you. God bless you. Bye bye. We love you. Bye bye. <laughs>
Amen. What an awesome word. What an awesome word. Praise God. We received on today. Praise God. Amen. I know. Praise God. You're jubilant. Praise God. You're joyful. Praise God. I know you are equipped with the word in Jesus name. Amen. This message is coming from Pastor Evans and myself, Pastor Gerald and myself, Pastor Vincia. Praise God. Amen. We love you. We praise God for you. Praise God. We pray much blessings upon you. Praise God. Amen. We ask that you continue to tune in. Praise God. Like the broadcast. Praise God. And share. Please share, share, share. Praise God. Amen. Oh, amen. We know that Jesus is coming back for, for a people, for a remnant of believers that believe in him and on him. Praise God. Amen. So we want to reach as many Christian, as many people for Christ as we can. Amen. We the, the harvest truly is plentiful, but the laborers are few, praise God. Amen. That's why he says to go out into the highways and, and byways and compel men to come in, praise God. Amen. He has made us fishers of men. Amen. So we are fishing for men, not for fish, praise God. Amen. So we praise God for you. Continue to, um, like I says, uh, minister to other people. Amen. Reach the poor, reach the sick. Praise God. Visit those in prison. Praise God. Amen. Whatever it is that your neighbor may need. Praise God. Amen. Be there for them in Jesus name. Be there for them. Amen. So we love you. We praise God for you. God bless and have a beautiful, prosperous day. In Jesus' name.